Welcome friends and thank you so much for tuning in to this video on how you can accelerate your body's ability to heal from injuries and enhance your athletic performance through neurotherapy. I'm excited and delighted to welcome our special expert guest, Dennis Thompson, the CEO and founder of ArcWave and the man behind neurotherapy, which we are going to learn all about today in this guest interview. Dennis, it's such an honor to have you here today. Well, Caroline, those are, uh, those are very wonderful words and, and it's, uh, it's my pleasure to be here. I'm looking forward to working very closely with you. Uh, so let's get the party started. Well, I was sharing with Dennis earlier that um, I've tried a lot of different therapies in my own experience as an athlete and also in healing from several different injuries. And, you know, there's always some red laser or cold therapy or some sort of ultrasound that's supposed to fix all of your problems. And it usually just ends up being a major money drain and a whole bunch of promises that fall flat. But as soon as I found ArcWave about eight months ago, I was mind blown by its effects and the results that I experienced in my own body and my ability to recover faster from harder workouts and, you know, experience higher levels of performance. And it just completely took me for a shock because after years of trying all sorts of different therapies, I had never met something that actually really re resulted on its promises and art wave was that. And so I immediately reached out to Dennis and wanted to learn more and get my hands dirty in this neurotherapy, learn everything I could um, and share it with the people that I care about. And I care about my YouTube community. I know a lot of us are trying to heal from injuries and or you know maintain our ability to perform in our favorite activities for longer, enhance our body's longevity in our sports. And ArcWave is such an incredible tool that I want everybody to know about. And I just, I want to learn everything I can about ArcWave so that I can be informed in my own use of it. And then also in sharing it with my clients and community. So if you could tell us what is ArcWave? Well, ArcWave is a, it's a completely different way of looking at injury and performance, et cetera, et cetera. Think about what you just said. You were talking about your uh, viewership and coming back from injury. The injury is not the problem. Why you have the injury is the problem. And unfortunately, everybody addresses the injury and not why you have the injury. And there's a common misconception uh, I'm very active, so I'm going to get injured. I'm in an athletic activity. It's expected that I'm going to get injured. Uh, it, it, it's just part of life that I'm going to get injured. Doctors will tell you that you just were overly using your body, so you got injured. All of those things, none of those things could be further from the truth. Mm -hmm. You're injured for one reason and only one. Your brain didn't send a fast enough signal to your muscle to allow it to act as a shock absorber. That is the only reason you're injured. So when I'm listening and I work with the NFL all the time and different players, we have about 750 NFL players. When I monitor them uh, through their games every week, and then my staff does the same thing. We hear all the talking heads and all the experts say, well, the reason we have so many injuries now is because the athletes are getting bigger, stronger, and faster. Now stop and think about the ludicrousy of that statement. If that in fact was the case, every time a player walked on the field, they get hurt. Mm -hmm. The reason they get hurt the reason, well, here, let's look at you. You've spent your entire life building your body. Yep. Most of your listeners listening to this have done the same thing. Mm -hmm. Every athlete has done the same thing. You've never worked on what controls your body. That's the nervous system. So what ARP Wave does it was the inventor and the creator of neurotherapy. 
Neurotherapy works on why you have the problem, not where you have the problem. So there's a couple of caveats. Anybody who's listening right now that has pain any place in their body and they're being treated in that place, newsflash, that's the wrong spot to be treated. That's where the problem ended up, not where the problem is coming from. So I created a method by which we can identify diagnostically where the problem's coming from, because only when you find out where it's coming from, are you going to solve the problem? Yep. Yeah. So we diagnose and then we treat where we find the problem is coming from. Which is really the foundation for everyone's success, because if you can find the Absolutely. root cause of the reason they have an injury and solve the root cause, then you can allow them to not only heal from a specific injury, but also eliminate their body's chances of getting injuries in the future. Yeah, I, I identified that the reason we have injury is because we're unable to absorb force. Absorption of force is not a physical activity. You could be the strongest person in the world, evidenced by many of the NFL players. They're hurt all the time. Mm -hmm. It's not because they're not strong by any stretch of the imagination. It's because they can't absorb force. And absorbing force is a neural pattern. It has nothing to do with physicality. It has nothing to do with how fit you are, how strong you are, how big you are. It has to do with communication from your brain to your muscles to turn them on fast enough to allow the load to go into the muscle and not tendons, ligaments, bones, and joints. Those are the main four components of injury, tendons, mm -hmm. ligaments, bones, and joints. If the muscle was doing its correct job, that force would never go to tendons, ligaments, bones, or joints. That's so, the idea behind ARP wave. Say someone out there that's watching this video is dealing with an injury and they're, wow, ARP wave sounds really interesting. I would love to try ARP wave therapy, which if you stay tuned in this video, you'll have the chance to try it for 30 days for free. But if they're interested in trying ARP wave therapy, what would that process look like? Well, the first thing we want to do is we've been in the, the cash business for roughly 20 years. And we want to get out of the classes and into the masses. So we created new technology, which is going to allow us to do that. And that's why we're collaborating together so we can help as many people as humanly possible and get out of the classes and into the masses. So what it would look like is that you can talk about this until you're blue in the face. You, you have to experience it. You this do. is an experiential situation. We want you to experience it at no cost. We will treat you at no cost or we will give you a device to manage your symptoms at no cost. So you can see firsthand, does it work or doesn't it? You said earlier, every day there's some new snake oil, there's some new uh, invention out there and you have to buy it. And then you find out that it doesn't work or it's too complicated or whatever the reason, I want to take all that out of the equation. I built this company based on proving to you I can help you. If I prove to you I can help you, I don't need to do anything else. It's I've just done it in the extreme classes category. Movie stars, athletes, high-end business people. We now want to do that same thing for every single human being on this planet, because I believe we can help every single person because nobody, including doctors, are trained 
in the neurology of what they do. Mm -hmm. Your physical trainer, all the exercise enthusiasts, all the strength coaches, all the ATCs, they only know what you know, and you only know what you've been taught. I'm an exercise physiologist. Nothing I do, I learned in school. Yeah. It's and an it's antithesis of what I learned in school. It's true. Arc wave is something you have to try to understand. Correct. Um, where I first tried it in San Diego, they were tr trying to get me to try it for months. You should try the arc wave. It's so cool. Like it really has amazing results and benefits. Try it, try it. I'm like, ah, nah, it just looks like a big tens unit. I'm not going to waste my money on that. I'm not going to try it, waste my time. And they, I finally tried it. And after the first session, I was like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. I've never tried anything like this. I need more. And I got completely hooked. Um, mm -hmm. And which is why now we're talking, but um, it is something that it's so amazing that your mission is to, you know, transition from top paying athletes and high performing celebrities into helping people who really need help with pain. Because I believe that, you know, if people can find solutions to their pain, their mental health gets better, the quality of their life gets better, you know, they live longer, thriving, more vibrant, positive yeah. lives. And this is a tool that if I could get it in the hands of more of my community and more of people that I love, I could see it having incredible positive ripple effects. And Absolutely. I, I mean, Carolyn, one out of three people, one out of three people in the world suffer from pain. Mm -hmm. One out of three. We have technology that can eliminate the need for medication and get rid of the source of the pain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it, it is that simple. And, you know, when you start, you start looking down this road, if I help you, you're going to be able to help a lot of people. If they help those people, that's how you mushroom this thing out to get it in every single home in the country. Right. I don't want anybody just to take it on pure faith that, that, that it works. We've treated 500,000 patients in 20 years with better than a 95% success rate at eliminating their primary symptoms. Mm -hmm. And more importantly, eliminating atrophy. And nobody else can say that because no one else has done it. Yeah. It's not bragging if you've done it. So I have a question because, um, and of course on the channel, I'll be showcasing different ways that I've used it in my own um, injury recovery and performance gains. But I've shown the device to a lot of my clients and a lot of my clients say, it just kind of looks like a TENS unit. Well, is it a TENS unit? It just kind of looks like a TENS unit because they see it and it, it looks somewhat similar, but it's completely different. So how is it different than a TENS unit? And maybe you get this question all the time. Excellent question. First off, if it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it must be a duck. It's not. Okay, so everybody asks me the very same question. So I'm going to give you two simplistic answers all electrical devices tens galvanic interferential microcurrent any electrical device is foreign to the nervous system when it's foreign to the nervous system your nervous system is going to react by protecting you now, what I'm about ready to say, I want you to think real hard on what I'm about ready to say, because it makes zero sense the way we address things. So if you're hurt or have an injury, your brain is sending a signal to your muscle to be in protection. Mm -hmm. It's going to be concentrically contracted. Does it make any sense whatsoever to stimulate the muscle to go into a deeper 
concentric contraction. No. It doesn't. So when I looked at electrical stem, I said, that makes no sense. What we need to do is we need to create a device that does exactly the opposite. It allows that cramp to go out of a cramp in 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? You trick the brain. You don't send an alarm signal. And that's what our technology does. So in simplistic terms, it keeps you out of fight or flight. Every other device, bar none, keeps you in fight or flight. Now, if your listeners want to know what that means, go to Google, check out fight or flight, and you're going to find out that you can't heal mm -hmm. quickly in fight or flight. Is it any wonder that one out of three people have pain? Because one out of three people are in fight or flight. Medication keeps you there. All electrical devices keep you there. Exercise keeps you there. Physical therapy keeps you there. There's one thing that doesn't keep you there. Arp way. It's true though, it's true. I actually, um, before I discovered Arc Wave, I had um, a long time ago in 2016, I had a really serious sesamoid injury. And I, at the time I was living in San Francisco, which is my virtual background. And I was working full-time self-employed and um, I was constantly treading water to try and keep my business afloat, live in a very busy city, um, you know, and heal my body all at the same time. I was chronically in fight or flight mode and I was seeing very little healing progress in my foot. And it wasn't until I moved into San Diego and kind of changed my environment and my lifestyle that my body started to kind of like come down a little bit. I went out of fight or flight mode into rest and digest. And that was just, I mean, that was, yes, I made progress, but I made 10 times the amount of progress once I discovered ARP wave therapy and discovered therapies to help me kind of really allow my body to go out of fight or flight mode because we live in a really crazy, busy world. We're always pushing things. We're always trying to take it to the next level. It's hard not to be your fight or flight mode. Um, and the body responds to that. It's impossible to heal from anything if you're in fight or flight mode. So the fact that ARP wave can do that and treatments don't take a lot of time and um, they don't, it's funny when I first did an ARP wave treatment with my coach here in San Diego, she was like, it can't hurt you. You're going to feel things you're going to feel also. And it's like the craziest feeling I've never felt in my life, but it can't hurt you. And, um, it can only help you. And it really astounded me with the benefits. And, um, for those of you thinking like, what the heck, I don't really, I can't understand what ARP wave is. Basically there are, um, there's, it's a device that you, you place sticky pads, electro pads on your muscles that you're trying to work on, correct? Um, and then, you know, you take the, the device up to a specific level, depending on your goals. And treatments can take anywhere from one minute to 30 minutes, depending on. Well, let's, let's take the word treatment out of the equation. If we're doing a treatment, a treatment has a very distinct patented protocol. It's, it's the only therapy that's patented. Physical mm -hmm. therapy is not patented. Occupational therapy is not patented. It's patented. Now, the reason it's patented is because it's different. And the reason it's different is because we're not working on the muscle. We're working on the signal that's causing the muscle to act that way. So there's three devices that we have. Two of them are non-treatment devices. One of them is a treatment device. So let's say you have and are told that you're bone on bone and you need a brand new joint. Mm. Well, we've saved 50,000 people from having that surgery. Not because we're magicians. Ask yourself the question, why are you bone on bone? You're bone on bone because the muscles did not absorb the force. So the force went directly into tendons, ligaments, bone, 
and joint. So it wipes out all the fluid, wipes out all the cartilage. Now you're bone on bone. So I tell everybody who's bone on bone, we're not going to prevent you from being bone on bone. We're not going to reverse you from being bone on bone. But if you're going to have surgery, you're probably having surgery because you're in pain. You have restricted motion and your lifestyle has been drastically disrupted. So I'm just going to ask a hypothetical question. You're bone on bone. You have no pain. You have full range of motion like you did as a child. You have no disruption in your lifestyle. Would you ever in your right mind get surgery? No, absolutely not. <laughs> no. Right. So that's therapy. When you see a professional athlete and they come back from an injury in an extraordinary short period of time, you were down here in San Diego, you're down in San Diego, you've got special operators down there. When they get hurt and they need to get back in a hurry, it's us. Mm -hmm. It's our therapy that speeds up that recovery, right? It's the athlete who gets hurt and comes back in an extraordinary short period of time. That's therapy. Mm -hmm. Now, that's in the past were the classes. I created a device where every single person, A, can afford it, B, it isn't a therapy device. So let's look at what I mean by that. Why do we take medication? Are we taking medication for pain for therapy purposes? No, we're taking it to control the feeling of pain. Mm -hmm. Again, one out of three people have that feeling. Mm -hmm. One out of three people are on some kind of medication, whether it be low-end Tylenol or high-end Oxycontin. So we use a device to give your brain something else to think about. So I started thinking about, I'm a why person, if you haven't probably figured that out. I'm not a where person, I'm a why person. So I asked myself the question, why don't we look at things in a realistic fashion when it comes to pain? You've heard, probably every one of your listeners have heard, if you have a headache and you hit your hand with a hammer, you don't have a headache anymore. Mm -hmm. You have a hand ache. Yep. <laughs> what happened to the headache? It went away. Why did it go away? Because your hand is yelling louder than your head. So I looked at that and said, that makes perfect sense. That's exactly how the brain works. So let me give the brain something else to think about rather than pain. And let me give it to it at about 245 times faster than the brain can send that signal. So if you have pain in your feet, neuropathy, if you have an injury, a sports injury, or when you're running, you have pain in your knee, this device can be used and you can run, you'll never feel pain in your knee, period. That's crazy. <laughs> Why? Because I gave your brain something else to think about other than the pain. Mm -hmm. Once I then do that, I've created a new pattern for your brain to focus on. So the home unit that viewers can experience, it, how would they use it at home? Any place they have pain, mm -hmm. they turn it on until they no longer have pain. It takes roughly about a minute and a half to two minutes. And your pain's gone. You have a headache. You put it on a strategic location that we tell you where to put it on. You never use this without our staff showing you how to do it. So it's all customized to you. No matter where you have pain, that's where the signal ended. If I override that signal where it ended, you're not going to feel pain. Mm -hmm. I can take you right out of surgery, put you in a recovery room, put this on. You have absolutely no use for medication at all. You turn it on, you have no pain. And I know so many people watching this will be like, yeah, right guy. Like, you know, I don't it? know. I don't trust you, but that's why you have to try it. You have right? to try it. You, um, when you talk about it, it sounds too good to be true. Yeah. Every single patient out of that 500,000 we've treated said almost the same thing halfway into their treatment. Why haven't I heard about this earlier? Mm -hmm. 
every one of our professional athletes who are injured and lose their career because of that injury, we're talking millions and millions and millions of dollars can now see they didn't have to lose their career. We just didn't get to them fast enough. So every one of your listeners probably know of a story of a young person in high school or grade school, and they got hurt and they lost their dream. Mm -hmm. I want to prevent that. And every one of the listeners, you and I together working as a team can prevent it. We can change that dynamic. But the first thing you got to do is try it. Right. Because what I say has always got me into trouble because it's the truth and people don't believe it until they experience it. Yeah. It's I mean, true. It's a true. classic example. We had one of the leading orthopedic surgeons 12 years ago. We had a player that had a grade three ankle sprain, which means it normally takes about 10 to 14 weeks to recover from it. It's a torn tendon or ligament in the foot and had an MRI, showed that it was a grade three. One week later, played in the Super Bowl, one week later played in the Super Bowl and had a sack in the first quarter. The doctor said to me one week earlier, there's no way this player is going to play. All the talking heads on ABC, NBC, ESPN, CBS, all said it was the biggest story of the Super Bowl. This guy is not gonna play. Not One so week later, we did an MRI again. And the doctor said to me, after seeing the MRI, I can't believe what I'm looking at, but I can't dispute it. Now, when I told him he was going to play, he said, oh, that's, that's, a, that's a crock of crap. So when people ask me, how long does it take to come back from an injury? And I give them the real answer. One of two things happen. They, they say, no, it can't be. It's impossible. That, that's impossible. But I could go, I can tell you exactly how long it takes to come back from an ACL. I can tell you exactly how long it takes to come back from back surgery, shoulder surgery, knee surgery, back surgery, hip surgery, the chronic hips. Why? because we've done it for 20 years. We have the biggest database of soft tissue injuries probably of any company in the country. Mm -hmm. So I already know what the numbers are, but they're unbelievable. Yeah. You're told by your doctor, it's gonna take a year. With us, it's gonna take you two months. I mean, and that's why I think so, I, I feel so powerfully about being able to share ArpWave with as many people as possible and giving people the opportunity to try it and experience it for themselves and hopefully find a solution to their injury and their pain that has been holding them back for so long. Um, and truly, I mean, it took me so long to even try it. And I'm so grateful that I did because it's changed my life. And um, the stories, all the success stories are phenomenal. Um, and I'll absolutely have to leave a lot of links in the, the video description box for where people can learn more about the science and, sure. um, you know, how people have used it to heal from backs, hips, necks, whatever it might be. Um, because I think ArpWave is the future. And I feel like if more and more people can truly get to experience the benefits of this therapy that they will be forever changed and hopefully the positive ripple effect because when you can heal from an injury, how that impacts your life and your ability to live positively and hopefully share that with others that the world needs that so much right now, um, so much. Well, is there anything that you want to share, you know, final statement about ArpWave or well, I think the final statement is this. The only way you're ever going to know 
if this can help you, is to try it. Mm -hmm. We've taken all the risk out of it. We've taken all the cost out of it. We're covering the cost of shipping. We're covering the cost of labor. We're covering the cost of the equipment coming back. We're covering all that for one reason. I already know what's going to happen. You don't. So try it. You got nothing to lose. It's a big statement, team. I mean, you got to put him, you got to put Dennis to work and see if he's, you know, just talking a big game over here or really actually the real deal. And I, I can tell you from firsthand experience, it is 100% the real deal. Um, Dennis, truly, I'm so impressed and um, in just complete admiration of you and your mission to help as many people as possible move without pain and to find a solution to things that have been holding them back in their bodies and in their lives. It is such an honor to be able to work with you and to know ARP Wave and to share it with as many people as possible. I can't thank you enough for just this opportunity. Well, I, I thank you for the opportunity. As you know, this is a new road for us. Uh, together, we're gonna go down this road together and everybody listening can be part of that mission of helping people because there's nobody listening right now that either isn't in pain or knows somebody in pain. Right. They, they haven't made that person yet. And it sounds too good to be true. The only way to check it out is to check it out. And there's no risk involved. So no, zero. that's the good news. So I will leave all of the links below this video on how okay. you can try ArcWave for free. You can experience firsthand what it feels like to try neurotherapy and see if it is a solution for your pain and hopefully a, a, a stepping stone to all of your goals in life. Because yeah, we've all known someone whose dream has been crushed by injury. Um, my, I thought my dream was crushed by my foot injury, but I ended up you know, finding a way to move out of that place into where I am now sharing ArcWave with the world. So that is so cool. And we're so lucky to have this chance to try ArcWave. Dennis, thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you. Well, team, make sure you click the links in the description box below, get your hands on ArcWave and report back after 30 days. Dennis, we will see you soon. And thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it.